Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So a lot of you have asked me to review Hailey Bieber's uh, new skincare line called Road Skin. So as you know, I'm not a big fan of celebrity bashing. I think it's great when they do come out their comfort zone and they try something new. Um, I do know that she's spoken to a lot of doctors um, and ones that I respect as well when it came to formulating this range. So I was actually really excited um, to do a deep dive. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored. They will never be sponsored. And this is purely based on the inky, so the ingredients list. But also a couple of other things I tend to look at is how are they marketing the product? What claims are they making? And what's the cost benefit analysis of every product? So whether or not I would buy it or I would buy it for one of our children. As you know, I am in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single YouTube video. So do make sure you subscribe, but also hit that notification bell so you know that I'm here and you can ask me your questions. You can also find me on Instagram. I've got two accounts, Dr. Manita Rattan and Skincare by Dr. V. I'm on TikTok, which is Dr. Manita Rattan. I'm on Facebook, <laughs> which is the Dr. V Sock family, a very intimate place to talk about your own skincare concerns, add in photos, etc. Um, and also, if you just want to know more about skincare and you don't want to fall for the marketing, I'd like to introduce to you Skin Revolution, a book that I wrote and has been published by HarperCollins, and it goes into a lot of detail about ingredients, how to combine them, mistakes that get made, etc. So you can find this from Amazon. So if that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. So starting off with the first product, which sounds so exciting, is the peptide glazing fluid. So she's basically made a serum slash gel. Um, and there are a few things that I love about this. So starting off with the fact that it's PCR materials made with post-consumer recycled material, um, which is, I think, the way that we are all eventually going to go. But it is more expensive. It tends to be about 30% more expensive. So even when I manufacture my products, PCR material is 30% more expensive. So it's just something to know. But I think that this is really the way that we are you know, going to be heading. I love that the range is fragrance free as well. So this particular product is fragrance free, which is very important. And I think really in this day and age, if you're going to make a skincare line and it's not fragrance free, it's very old fashioned and not in times, not in touch with the times. So fragrance free is important for a couple of reasons. Number one, three to 4% of the population gets contact dermatitis from fragrance. And often it doesn't happen immediately. It can happen 20 years later. So you can literally be wearing the same serum for 20 years, be absolutely fine. And suddenly you're noticing that your skin is becoming sensitive, dry, rashes, broken skin barrier, and you're wondering what on earth happened. The problem is also that it's a co-sensitizer. So it sensitizes you to the other ingredients in that product when really you should be fine with them. And so I would never use a fragrance product on my children or on myself. And I would encourage you to only use fragrance free products. So number one is well done. This product is fragrance free. Let's go through the inky. Don't forget you're going down in descending order. So when you look at ingredients list, the number one ingredient has the highest percentage. So here's of course water, then butylene glycol, then glycerin. The third ingredient is glycerin, which is great because it's a humectant. It holds water. It's a very powerful humectant. I use it in a lot of the products that I formulate. The fifth ingredient here is niacinamide. So it looks like this is probably at about 2%, which I love as well. Uh, however, considering that the marketing term here is peptide um, glazing fluid, the last ingredient on the inky list is peptides, the last ingredient, which means that it's a fraction of a percent. And so I'm really not impressed, you know, considering the name just, oh gosh. Um, yeah, I think they could have done better with this considering it's a peptide serum. So essentially, this is really just a hydrating niacinamide gel serum, which is fine and I like it and it's um, it's fragrance free and it's a decent price, it's cost effective. So for that reason, I approve, but it doesn't tally up with the marketing. This is not an anti-aging fluid. This is great to repair your skin barrier. It's good if you have oily skin and you're trying to control sebum. And so I just think the purpose is not aligned with the product and its claims. Moving on to the next product, which is the Barrier Restore Cream. Again, it's fragrance free. 
Uh, the second ingredient here is glycerin, so it's hydrating. The fourth ingredient is shea butter, so it's an occlusive, an emollient. Uh, it's quite fatty, which means that it traps water in the skin, reduces transepidermal water loss. I love shea butter. The seventh ingredient here is niacinamide, so it's going to be a low percentage niacinamide. You know, you're looking at about 1%. Um, but that's okay if you're going to use it on top of the peptide glazing um, fluid which has already got niacinamide in it. The eighth ingredient in here is squalane so it's a great emollient and again helps trap water in the skin. At this point they use phenoxyethanol so you know that phenoxyethanol has to be at a maximum one percent and so everything after phenoxyethanol is at a fraction of a percent including the peptides. So there really is no other major benefit to this moisturizer other than the fact that it's great for sensitive skin. You know, it's probably got 1% niacinamide in it. Um, it's fragrance free. It's a nave safe fatty moisturizer, but it really doesn't have anything else in it. There's no antioxidants in it. There's the peptides at a very a fraction of a percent and probably not that effective because of the percent that they're using it at. And just nothing else, you know, you would just expect so much more. There was, you know, no anti-inflammatories in this. There's, there's just not nothing in this. Um, so, I mean, it's fine and it's at a good price again, which is important. And I'm, I'm glad that she didn't take advantage of her celebrity status and, you know, bump up the price like Kim Kardashian did. Um, I did a whole video on Kim, so you can have a look at that. Yeah, okay, it's okay. I mean... <laughs> And moving on to the next product, which is her, her peptide lip treatment. Now she's got uh, several, but I'm going to do the one that's unscented because I wouldn't ever recommend the scented one. So there's no point wasting your time. Uh, but I actually like this product. I think she's done really well with this product. It's a hydrating lip balm. So if you're looking for an alternative to Vaseline, I really like this. It's got fatty acids in it, emo emollients in it. Um, very low percentage vitamins, so you're not really going to see much benefit, to be honest, from the vitamins. Um, but it's a, a very good um, alternative. So, you know, if you're one of those that love their Carmex and the tingling, um, please step away from the Carmex and purchase this or Vaseline. <laughs> I also like the fact that she didn't go in with all the products at once. And I think this is a really clever way of just testing the market, you know, releasing three products just to see what are people saying, what, what are you know doctors online saying, and how they can tweak it for future products. Um, so with this whole range, I would say the claims are is for fine lines, dullness, and dryness. I would say no, I disagree. Um, this range is yes to dryness, but no to the fine lines and dullness. There's literally nothing in this range that's gonna help you with fine lines and dullness. Just because the peptide percentage is so low, and there aren't any other actives. You know, if you're going to deal with dullness, for example, you really want exfoliating acids. You want tyrosinase inhibitors, which don't exist in this. So when you want to treat fine lines, you at least need some sort of vitamin A, even if it's just an ester and there is nothing. There's no vitamin A in this range. <laughs> so yeah, it's not really going to help with fine lines. Uh, but I think she herself has sensitive skin and I think she's made this range for her own face, which I fully understand because honestly, when I make my own skincare products for, for my face, it is for normal to dry skin, dealing with hyperpigmentation, fine lines, you know, things that I deal with. So I can understand that this is at her young age where really her main issue is probably sensitive skin and damaged skin barrier. This is actually a great range for Hayley's skin. And if you've got similar skin to her, it's a good range. Also, I'm happy for you to purchase this range for children, for your kids, you know, who are teenagers and do love the whole, you know, want a little bit of celebrity stardom in their life. I'm happy for you to purchase this range as opposed to other celebrity ranges, which I would just tell you to stay clear of. So she's done a decent job. Uh, it's just, it's very, very basic. Very, very, very simple. Thank you for watching and I'll be in the comment section. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Take care. Bye.